but so I was not gonna do a video today but then I decided I should <laughs> you can see I'm out of breath because I run back here to get the tripod where uh, me mom and granny are gonna go to a nursery over in Robbinsville not far from us and wasn't planning on doing a video and then thought what the heck I could get a little bit of video and show everyone this nursery and what we've got what we're gonna get plant wise so I run back up here to get the tripod and now I'm very out of breath <laughs> but I'm excited to go to this nursery never been to it before mom's never been always heard about it and wanted to go so I think this will be fun and and now that I'm kind of all into planting and all that stuff at my new house this will be really exciting for me to get to visit a nursery of course I've been to lots of nurseries before in the past and always enjoyed it but wasn't looking for stuff to plant in my own house so I am looking forward to this and looking forward to just getting to spend time with granny that's always treasured time we are now in the car and headed to, I believe the name of it is Satterfield Nursery. So what are you looking for at this nursery and like what are you most excited about? How did you find out about this nursery? Well, I've heard about it for years. Different people's told me that, that's, that they have really good plants, really good prices. And mostly what I'm interested in seeing is if they have any, like, um, kind of think of perennial, like herb-like things. So like I'm always wanting to grow nettle and I have tried multiple times over the years and never been able to. So I'm interested in seeing if they have anything like that. Maybe they have some nettle or some, I don't know, some rosemary, which is not necessarily gonna, gonna come back for me. But the nettle, if I could ever get it started in our little mountain holler, maybe it would come back and that would be something we could use. That would be awesome. I uh, I used to know some people who who not who were not far from us at all. They were over in Pine Log and they had nettle. So if they could grow it, then surely oh, we could. Yeah, right. What do you do with nettle? Well, you can eat nettle. Actually, it's edible, but you can make all sorts of uh, medicinal things with oh, it. Oh yeah, nettle's and then great. Some people, and I think Corey and Katie tried this for a while. Maybe one of you did. Was it you, Corey? Say that drinking nettle tea will can help your allergies. So oh, if yeah. you have allergies and you just drink nettle tea all the time, it can lessen the effects of them. Yeah, I tried that and I didn't stick with it long enough and I don't have terrible allergies, but the thing about that is, is that it takes time. You can't drink nettle tea once and, and then expect it to cure Expect it to, you. yeah, it's, it takes time and that's the thing. You have to let it build up in your system. They also make, um, there's definitely various types of tinctures out of nettle and I think that that can be good for allergies too, but I think probably, uh, allergy wise it's best to drink it as a tea we got granny with us today which is always nice and she said she didn't think she had been to robbinsville since she was in high school is that true uh, i was just a teenager when last time i was there that's 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 crazy and for everyone watching robbinsville is only like a, a town that's an hour away from us so. i see i didn't play ball i didn't play ball or nothing so i had to romantic fever, you know, and I couldn't take sports. Robbinsville is in the next county that joins Cherokee County. Right. And Graham County, but then I noticed uh, when I was interviewing Sonny Ricker, he says Graham County. So Does in he? Graham County, yeah. So we're going to Graham County today. Mama, what is your favorite flower? That's hard, hard question. There's so many pretty flowers, it's hard to hard to say a, a favorite one. I think about what's blooming right now. I love columbines. I have a lot of columbines in my yard. Of course, I love the daffodils and narcissus and jonquils. That's, they're about done blooming for this year. Yeah, I love columbines. Those are some of my favorite. I love zenas and uh, cosmos and marigolds, all of those. Granny has beautiful tiger lilies. I like those. Oh, yeah, those are sweet. I used to have some pink ones and white ones. and Maybe I had some yellow and some uh, some of the orange ones, too, but something happened to them. I lost them somehow over the years. Hmm. So what's some of your favorite flowers, Granny? Uh, the orange honeysuckle. Snowballs. Yeah. I have a snowball in my front yard. 
irises, I love irises. They're beautiful yeah. flowers. And roses, of course. Pink. Pink and red are my favorite. But yellow roses are pretty too. Of course, we gotta show everyone the beautiful mountains. Coming through Andrews here, Valley Town. Don't call it Valley Town for nothing. This is when you can get the best view of the mountains. trees so big that the people had to burn them down. They didn't, this was years ago and they didn't have no chainsaws and stuff to saw them down. And they had to burn them down to make them a garden. Wow. Said that sound, they were so big they couldn't cut them down. Had nothing to cut them with. Jerry knew it. He said he moved to Andrews when he was boy. Made it to the nursery. It is indeed called Satterfields. We had that right. Hey, puppies. Guys, I see a dog. Oh my gosh. Hey, buddy. Who are you? What's up? Oh my goodness, this dog, y'all. I love little beagles. This looks though like maybe a beagle crossed with something else. Sweet, oh goodness. Do you smell olive, pup? Yeah. Yeah, you're pretty. Yeah. You're pretty, hmm? So pretty, yeah. Goodness. This nursery has my vote right off the bat for this pub. Guys, this place has dogs everywhere. That one says no. Look how pretty those are. Wow. I love this place. They got all kind of stuff. These right here are beautiful. I don't recall seeing that before. I just can't believe I've never been here before. some rosemary that mama was talking about. Look at this. It matches Granny's coat. That's it, all it, it matches Granny's coat. Yeah. yeah. Look at all the succulents, y'all. I was just telling mom and granny though, I can never seem to keep them alive, so probably not good for me to have these. 
Although I do have a succulent in my window that I have kept alive for probably a year or two, so that's something. Those are just so cute. Those are adorable. I think I could stay here forever, y'all. So pretty. So much to see. I can smell that I am close to the herbs now. I tried to grow catnip one time and didn't have a have good luck with it, but maybe if it was already started like this. Guys, this strawberry mint, that's crazy. I've never seen anything like this. It smells like an exact cross between strawberries and mint, which I guess is the point, but I've never smelled anything like that before. If you're looking for herbs, that's what my daughter was looking for. They've got, looks like any kind you want. Yeah, so what do you think of this place? Oh, it's really nice. It is, ain't it? And it's been here probably for a long time and we never knew it was here right in our backyard. Mm-hmm, it's nice. Really. So what what are you looking for? Are you gonna get some flowers? I was gonna check on their apple trees. Yeah. See how much they are. Yeah. What are those, Mama? Wonderland Pink. Wonderland Pink. Yeah, there's the name of them. I see them. I've seen. I've seen. I've this never seen a black petunia. Green. It's the same bloom that was in those baskets, the black eyed seeds, and not the cold things. Look how beautiful these calla lilies are. They got a pawpaw tree. That would be so cool. It won't grow. Yeah, I don't know, but that's cool. I'm pretty sure I could just stay here forever. I'm just gonna ask if I can work here. I like the bleeding hearts. Okay. You want one that's already? Or sure. You wanna... I like this one right here. Okay, get it. Grab it. Don't let that drop. Our pile is growing. Sweet, peppers. Sweet pepper for green. Some. 
bell peppers. Look how cool this bucket of horseshoes is. Never seen that many old horseshoes in one place before. Back in the car with the plants. That place was just awesome. I'm so glad that we came. It the colors of the plants and flowers are so pretty and smelled really good and just a really nice day. Such nice people too. Oh yeah. So nice. Had a blast. What about you, Granny? Do you have a good time? Uh -huh. yeah. Alright, well we're gonna go home and then we'll show you what we bought. So here's all the plants we got. We're gonna get grannies out and leave them here and take ours home. So, granny got this Japanese maple. Very pretty, I love Japanese maples. And she got pepper plants. And a few tomato plants. Cherokee purple. Even though we start them in our greenhouse and I always share with Granny, she's seen them and had to have them because she loves Cherokee purple tomatoes. So some of the things I got, I got a pink and a purple. What are these again? Giles Van Hees Spike Speedwell. Okay, it's a perennial flower, y'all. That's all that really matters. And it's pretty because it's pink. And I got a purple one. And I think this is this, yep, this is the strawberry mint. This smells like half strawberry, half mint. Got a really good smell. This is lavender, and I got two things to just maybe have two chances to grow lavender, because I like lavender. And then I got some lemon verbena. That smells super good. And then I got some chamomile, and mom got some chamomile. Creeping flocks? Did you get that or did I get that? You got that. That's what we call thrift. thrift. Okay, yeah. So this is what we call thrift, and it's really pretty. We got it at mom and dad's, and I just always remember seeing it and liking it, so I wanted some. And I think that's all for right here that I got. And then I got this delphinium. Delphinium? I don't know how to say it, but it's really pretty. I love the shape of it and the color. And then I got this, and I don't know how to say that. Huchera? something but it says galaxy i just think that red is beautiful that'd be pretty in the yard you know to break up some of the green and is it sometimes called cora coral bells i think yeah we're that's coral right. bells yeah so it will have some kind of bloom which i look forward to seeing and then last but certainly not least and maybe perhaps my favorite i got the bleeding hearts because we've always had these at mom and dad's and they've been one of my favorites so I look forward to getting to plant all these. Austin's gonna be surprised when he comes home and sees all the flowers and plants that I bought. And we got an aloe plant. This guy was hiding. He was hiding back there, I didn't see him. Since there's two in there, one for me, one for mom, and uh, this would be really handy to have for burns and anything else like that. What did you get, mama? I got a fig. I've always wanted to have a fig. I have no clue where I'm gonna put it, but I got it. I got some chamomile. I got some lavender, two different kinds of lavender, and I got some rosemary, love rosemary. I got some sage because when I was cleaning out my herb bed or Katie, all of our herb bed, it was Corey's, then it was Katie's, and I guess now it's kind of mine. I noticed that our sage was gone, so I think it died over the winter somehow. I got some parsley, and I got some thyme. I got some of the same uh, spirea, or salvia, whatever they are, that uh, Corey got, purple and pink. I used to have some of those years ago. I got some lamb's ear. That's just beautiful. Yeah, so pretty. And it'll have like a pink bloom, I think, maybe. 
mine that I used to have had a pink bloom. And then I got some little um, uh, impatience. Year, for years, for many, many years, I had impatience growing under my porch, kind of where it shadows over where all my hostas are. And every year they reseeded themselves and come back up for years. I bet you remember them mm -hmm. when you were little. And they have the little seedlings that if you touch, they pop mm -hmm. the seed pods. And somehow they, they're all gone. So I seen these and thought, wonder if I could get them started again and do that again with them. We got Granny in the house and honestly, we had a blast. The place was so nice. Such nice people, beautiful plants, and they were so knowledgeable too. They really were. And they don't have a website, but I'm gonna put their contact info in the description below in case that you are local. Because if you are, even if you don't like to plant stuff, you should just go and walk around because it was so pretty and nice. And there was some really cute dogs, <laughs> which I'm always yeah. a fan of. And they have great prices. Yes. So overall, this was a super fun trip. We hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Comment below, let us know what you think. And other than that, God bless you and we'll catch you at the next video.